Hey there, I'm here, here with another React challenge that could really give you an edge on your interviews. Today we are going to implement a simple drop down menu. So something like this. And when I choose an option, it would be shown here. So it would be a good time to pause the video and try to resolve it by yourself. Otherwise, grab your laptop and get ready to code along with me. Okay, now we have our application ready here. I have a few options defined down here. Pretty simple with some values and some labels. So here the first thing is that I would just have my drop down menu with some options. That are the options that I defined here. So I'm done with this, but I need to define this. So let me close this one and so let's go here and say drop down menu is grabs the options like so and it renders something. For now let's say it re returns a div with the class name of drop down like so. So we don't get any error anymore. Now this drop-down needs to have two states, one for the open or closed state, one for the option that is selected. So let's define those two. For this one we would say no. Now this drop-down will have a button to toggle the drop-down and then the list. So let's have those two as well. So a button, this says select. And then there is a list of ULLI. And for the LI I would use the options. So options.map. each option would go to a let's say li for now with no class and then the option dot value like so then close the li and now we have these great let's give these some classes so class name mm, let's call it drop down menu also to this button toggle and let me copy and paste some styles for these ones so it go here and this so as you can see so for drop down which is the wrapper I have the width and then some margin to put it in the center I position it relative because the menu will be absolute and on the bottom of the button some background color which is not needed basically and then some font and so on for the drop down toggle which is this button i just set the width to 100 percent so if i remove this you can see this is not uh, stretching because this is a button so i need to have that and I align the text to the left great and then I have an after which is for this arrow that we have here display block content is nothing position it absolute to go to the right and then position it like so and then move it a little bit up so that it's in the center and then some border to show the triangle here Also for the drop down menu, which is this menu, which is the LI, ULLI list, I position it absolute and then top 100 so it goes beneath the button. Right and left is zero to be the same size of the button and the wrapper. Rest is just simple. This style none to remove the bullets, some border, some background, and some Z index. 
I think you can remove this one as well. Okay. And then li to have some padding and then and the hover which is something like this okay great so we're done with the css so first let me write the functionality for the button so here on click let's say on toggle then go here say const on toggle is an arrow function that the only thing it does is sets the is open to whatever it was so not is open so if it was open i would close it and if it was closed i would open it okay so this is done now here i would only render the ul when this is open so if this is open then render the ul now you can see ul is gone now ul is here Perfect. The only thing is that when I click this one, I need to close this drop down and put this value up here. So for each of these options, I would first have the key here so that I don't forget. So this is the key. And here on click, let's have an arrow function here that would say handle option select and then we pass along the option that was clicked on and actually this should be option dot label not option dot value because we have the uh, label here and we can use the value here for the key so let's say this is option dot value remove the key here the option dot value like so and let's write this function so if I go up here I can say const like so and it would take an option as we pass down here So the thing that we should do is first set the is open to be false because we have clicked on an item. So here set is open is always false. And then we would set the selected option. And this is like lowercase p and the same is here. So we set the selected option here to be the option. We can pass the option dot value, but let's put the option here so that we have the access to the whole object. Okay, so let's go and see. Now this is closed. The state is changed, but I need to see the label up here when I am clicking this so that is pretty simple here i would just need to say if the selected option is there just render the selected option dot uh, label otherwise render the select value like so and then if I refresh, it works perfect now. Now the great thing is about this drop down is that obviously we can have multiple of these. Now as you can see we can have multiple of the selects, but I think if uh, because we have the position relative, I need to set the style for this drop down uh, menu z index to be on top so for now let's say this is number 10 and now it should go on top of the rest of them and they work independently so yeah this was it for the drop down menu i hope you enjoyed the video and learned something if that's the case please provide a like 
comment or subscribe to my channel to help me provide more contents like this and have a great day